welcome to the vlog. This is Corey from My Roxy Nation. Um, so, um, I have my Canon Nas today. So, today we have a real special event that's going to happen. Um, pretty much that the Cold Soul races are, my town's races is going to like shut down, they're shutting down everything in the whole town and they're going to make the old serious things of racing and and like yeah it's gonna be like one big the whole town is gonna be one big course one big racing course and that's what we're gonna get to today so i have my my, my breakfast i have my can of nas so let's get to it i blocked off now see this is where it's starting to happen and you can see these cars going by So as you can see, that's how they have the races. Sorry about the hair. The hair's gonna get relaxed soon, but that's pretty much what's happening here is the whole entire city is one big race thing. Alpha Romero. So, as you can see, it's it's uh, something different than uh, supercars on State Street in Harrisburg that's happening today. Pennsylvania tag for that now. Oh, really? I saw one at uh, some point in West Virginia. It said, uh, it said Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's not exactly a vanity tag, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know, are they going to widen the range? Because I know it's that 70s is the only one. I'm sorry? They, I wonder, are they going to widen the range? Like up like up and up like 10 more years? I had no idea. Yeah. The 80s, because what I have is a 1987 Ironman set. And I actually wanted to participate in this event. Yeah, we, uh, I've worked other vintage events that they've had high rocks and stuff like that. Uh, what about like for this event? I have no idea. What they doing?
you hear the backfire on that horse? Go get it! Mind boggling. That was crazy. As you can see it literally right down there where it is actually broke, well, it actually had broke down right there. Now, as you can see, there's a car there followed by the, followed by the regular car. So, None. Next argument. None. 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 Apple. I don't ever have to deal with this. None. The apple is all of a sudden. Oh, we can video on our phone. Well, Ezra's been doing that for like 30 years now. Let's come on with that nonsense. You dumbass has spent thousand dollars for a phone that an Android's been doing for 30 years. Come on with that stupid shit. Dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> Well, you had a previous like Android problem back then? Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. And well, ain't shit, nothing, ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. I still hear the same problem. Uh, Batteries, this. But they say people's houses on fire. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It did have that problem. Anyway, well, comment down below. What do you think? What do you go for? Android or Apple? What one would you go for? Comment down below in the section. Where the tow truck is coming for the car that's down there. Yeah. And that's my buddy that's in there. My buddy's actually driving in there. Shout out Mr. AKA Tank. That's one that had broke down back there, as you see. As you can see right now, I'm at the point where you can cross the road. So I'm gonna keep everything updated and posted. And as time goes on, I'm gonna keep you keep showing you what's going on today. Can you believe it? It's an actual good word. That in here. That is cool. <laughs> that is cool. We have the engine right there in the back. That is cool. An actual DeLorean. And then over here, we have the little Fiat. Old vintage Fiat. And we have a couple more cars. That is actually one of the old Hondas that has been in the I've never seen one of the Hondas in that type. I've been on this side. Check that out. Well, look at that. That, I think, is a really good combination. Have you ever seen that? Check out in there. Everything is nice. Check out the interior. Everything is cool. I mean, I think this is your standard uh, 350 or big block engine. Looks all original, looks all factory. Jack Daniels. I don't condone anybody to drink, but Jack Daniels. Dodge Charger. I'm telling you. It's nice how it is. It's all original. Original here. And then we have the Ford York. Hi, York. 
Oh. I remember what Mike said about that. Look at that. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the cars that are actually there. That is cool. And that is cool. Comment down below. Tell me what is that one. GT350. And there you see you got the road, road cage. And it's, it looks like a uh, six point road cage. That is cool. I had to get away from the speakers to not get hit with a copyright claim. But that is cool. You can see how that is right there and how that is right there. That is all. Um, I'm not for like I said, I'm not for sure about these the vintage ones, but comment down below about all three of them. What are their names? What are they? But comment down below. Now this car is crazy. Uh, I've never seen something like that before. Ever. Uh, is that yours? Oh. I haven't seen something like this at all. Yeah it is. And then we also have another GT perspective. This looks like a uh, one of the old, pretty, pretty much a uh, old school way it was. See what's going on. And surprisingly, there is another GT perspective. And I think I see the owner. You don't not mind if you're on camera? Do you mind if you're on camera? No, no. Right, is this short? Yeah. Alright, would you mind telling me a little bit about the specs? Sorry if I interrupted in the conversation. Okay. I don't want to do much about it, but go ahead. Alright, so do you mind telling me a bit about the specs of the car and everything? I owned this in 71. Oh, nice. Year I graduated from school, actually. Uh huh. And, uh, 289, 306 horse. It's actually a 65 leftover, but it was titled in 66. Oh, nice. Uh, it's two fours, it's rated 306 horse. And, uh, no, did you like, um, did you bore it, like, or bore it or anything, or you yeah, just left it stock? stock. <laughs> and it's, uh, it went 1276 back in the 80s. Uh, I, I drive race, but I didn't really road race this far. Oh, really? But it still has the override traction car. You lift any corner of the car, three wheels will come off the ground. <laughs> so, so, it's, so it's not, is it a posi or? or yeah, it's a posi rear, yeah. Well, what are the gears? Uh, it's uh, 391 right now. You used to have 411s in it. Yeah, I know that. 411s must have been awesome. Well, yeah. Well, well three, you, you really couldn't tell much difference in uh, other than uh, cruising down the road, you're attacking 3,000 instead of 3,500. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing me. Thank you for saying. It's crazy. And then you have the Cobra. You have the Cobra. This is nice. And here and we have the BMW. Max, Max T Tech Vid should know about this. Comment down below. What BMW is this? Because it looks real, real clean. Now that, that is also awesome. That is also awesome. I don't know the names of, like I said, I, I'm not too, it's a Mercedes Benz, so Parker from Vehicle Virgins should know about this one. This, um, I think, I, if I would think, Aston Martin. Uh, oh yeah, Aston. Aston. See, we have another and another Mustang. Ah, um, hopefully you don't die here. <laughs> but yeah, we have another Mustang. And this, yours? Huh? Not this one. If it wasn't mine, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mike, Mike, Street 3717, Mike, I have something very interesting to show you. So tell me, what do you think, Mike? 
We like that. <laughs> this is a 1955 Corvette. As you all know, you know she would have done awesome if she would have bought one of these. For uh, comment down, Pachi, comment down below. What do you think that would have went better? If we went with the C4 or if we went with this? Which would bring more crowds, uh, which would bring a bigger crowd to his channel. You see here that we have a Chevelle. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what year is that, but I love the paint. I love the black stripes. Kind of was thinking about the same way to, the same thing to do, but I went a different route. It goes. That is cool. Here, the 1947, mind you, 1947, mind you, yeah, we make sure that you follow them and follow their channel. Michael Rich is one of the most sexy fucking things that I have seen. So a 65 is one of the earliest I love that fucking paint. I love the way that I, I just love the spec. I'm surprised that nobody is around here. Fuck is that scene? I'm surprised that nobody is around here looking at this. This is a pretty, pretty sexy ride. So we got the wildwood disc brakes there. I mean, brake calipers. So we have the exhaust. Looks like a. One and seven inch collectors. I mean, that is awesome. That is a very sexy ride. We'll be performing all afternoon. Sorry, is this? Three different bands making appearances here at the festival. And I love that. I love everything about this car. Source: The gateway to the city coming in from the west, and you will see for yourself. What a beautiful job that Tom of Coatesville put on when everything is ready to go here. So do it. It's kind of what I want to do with my car. Have the side hands cut out like this beautiful September day heat to add to the heat so the heat can come out there to extract it so the heat can shoot out. Because the colder the engine, the more power that you have. As I said, I told you, the whole entire area is blocked off. They have the whole city blocked off.
I wish the year was wider. I have the 1987 Armada. I wanted to participate in this. Too new. It's too new for this, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Now we have something for you. You like bikes, Andy? I'm gonna need it. So, what's your Instagram? Uh, S Kozak two four seven Art Major. Make sure you follow him. And what are you doing? He's just my one. dad. I'm just a dad. <laughs> I'm a dad who's a car guy. That's not uh, one line. Yeah. Right. Make sure you follow them. Like, like, like I was saying, I, I, I don't like the uh, I tall rims. I take negative camber over tall rims. Yeah. yeah. You know, big rims and uh, negative camber, all they do is make your car perform worse. <laughs> well, they, they actually, some of them use a negative camera for like drifting and stuff like that. I understand yeah, that. A little bit, but not completely like sideways. When a street car sideways. with the rear tires are like this, that ain't good for yeah, that. Yeah, that when they take... Yeah, well yeah. I've had people roll up on me, like I've got an 09 Civic Si, and I had a guy roll up on me in like a GTI that was slammed, and his tires were out the air, and I was like, who's really going to win this race? Right? <laughs> like, who's actually going to... Like, you, if you, like... You, you floor it, your axles are going to snap in half. Like, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Like, I can see it now, and the tire's going down, boom, boom, boom. That's a nice car. Parker. Nice car. I think Parker would see that. Well, as you see, it was a good car show there, and everything was awesome. Well, to everybody that I put in the vlog, 
and make sure you follow them their links will all be down in the description and if you like what you see for the first time please like subscribe comment down below and if you want to get a notification whenever my video comes up please hit that notification bell don't worry i know my hair is fucked up it's going to get relaxed again and back where it needs to be but hit that like button and give this video a big old thumbs up hit it like button i mean hit, hit it somewhere because you gotta give this video a big old thumbs up take care